Quick starting guide to Pinnacle Glacier. This video is not meant to be a complete guide, but rather just a starting point for a much more detailed video I heavily recommend checking out ATK. The main playstyle of Pinnacle Glacier involves around filling your identity to max and then swapping your gauges. The build I play is called a 5-2 build, which means I put 5 into the blue skills and then 2 into the red skills. Uh, furthermore, in terms of stat distribution, we do uh, spec swift, where uh, on our pieces we do spec except for the necklace where we do spec and swift. The reason is because spec will also actually improve your uh, identity, which means that every time you swap, you actually can get um, more buff, uh, which is important when it comes to doing damage. So here's the build. Uh, chain Slash, we're gonna do 3, 1, 2. And then uh, Flash Kick, you can put a point in excellent mobility when you get the skill point. Uh, Volts, you can put excellent mobility. This is important because otherwise it doesn't have a dash. Uh, Half Moon Slash, we're gonna do uh, 1, 3, 2. Uh, some people also like to do the chasing slash on their last tripod instead. Uh, it comes down to preference, but for beginner, I recommend the tornado because it's a lot quicker to cast. Um, Raging Dragon slash, uh, 3, 2, 2. Uh, Wheel of Blade, uh, 1, 1, 3, uh, 1, 1, 2, sorry. This is going to be your main primary stagger skills, uh, but if you don't have skill point, you can put this at 7 instead of 10. Um, Cunning Wind, just put 4 for quick prep. Uh, moving on to the Shackling Dragon, this is going to be your primary party synergy which gives you 18% critical rate to your entire party uh, and we're going to take free 1-1 uh, one, one for the 18% critical rate. Uh, moving on to 4-Headed Dragon, we're going to do uh, Fire Power Control here which is uh, number 1 for more meters uh, but if you don't have skill point, you can take these, uh, leave this out for now. Uh, on to Star 4 Pounds which we're going to put 10 point in uh, into 1-3-1. One, and finally, Red Dragon, which is 3 3 1. Something to know about your skills is that for your Chain Slash and your Half Moon Slash, uh, you can consume 20% of your meter to do more damage, so make sure you have some meter filled up before you use them. Uh, the second most important tips I can give to beginner Glavier player is don't feel the rush to swap stands even though your meter is full uh, because you want to make sure you land your rest skills which are kind of hard to land. So when your meter is full, you want to wait until the boss is not moving a lot to make sure that you can land the rest skill guarantee uh, and then throw your two rest skills onto them which are the Red Dragon Horn and the uh, Star 4 Pounds. Uh, these two skills are very important to land uh, because they are where a lot of your damage come from. Uh, so just make sure you prioritize landing these. Do not rush to change your stance even though people will tell you that you should swap your stance as soon as possible uh, because it is much worse to miss your skills uh, because you rush to switch your stance and then you have to throw your skill out before the buff end. Since the buff only lasts for 10 seconds, uh, it's quite short uh, so just swap when you're ready to do so. And then if you successfully land your two skills, uh, and as maybe the four-headed dragon as well, your meter should be back up and then you can swap back to the blue build or blue sands. For rotation, I currently use start with the cutting wind into chain slash, into our crit buff, tornado, raging dragon slash, uh, and then the wheels, and finally swap sense into our red dragon horn, our star four pounds. Finally, uh, fill up our gauges back with the forehead dragon and then swap back and then repeat. It is important to cast your shackling blue dragon before the big damage uh, blue skills because this gives you 18% critical rate buff, but it's also important to cast this before your awakening for the same reason. Uh, because of that, you should always be casting your awakening in the blue sense uh, to try to benefit from the crit rate buff. As for awakening, both of the awakening are very viable. I simply use the first one because it reminds me of Gay Borg from Face Late Night a lot, um, which just look a lot more cooler than the second one. Uh, but the second one is totally fine as well. It does a lot of multi-hit and it costs a little bit of time to cast. Uh, so the first one that looked cooler is the preferred one for me, uh, especially since they have range advantage on it, but whatever, uh, it's up to preference. That's pretty much it. This is meant to be a quick starting guide for your brand new Glavier so that you have a starting point to work with. Uh, as always, with Lost Ark builds are come in many variations so feel free to experiment with different tripod as well as stuff. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, some people will run charging slash on your half moon slash. 
Uh, some people will actually run the uh, combo on your Raging Dragon slash do more damage with like all our attack. Um, in general, there's no like one best way to play, but I simply figured that having a starting point is much better than not sure where to start at all with all of the skill and the tripod. Uh, so with that being said, that is going to be the end of the video. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, for a more detailed guide, I heavily recommend ATK. But with that being said, uh, I do stream Lost Ark over on Twitch, so you can ask me questions there as well. And I'll see y'all next time.